Hey guys, what's going on? So I've been using this old tripod for many years, generic brand that I bought on Amazon, and I've been okay with it over the years and it did its purpose, but it's very cheap and very creaky. Just move it a little, it just makes a lot of noise. So I figured it's time to upgrade tripods and I decided to get the KR CF2451 and the CF stands for carbon fiber. Now if you didn't want to spend the extra money on carbon fiber, they do have an all aluminum version, but I went ahead and went for the carbon edition. So this is the box it comes in. It's got a good weight to it. Right away here, we can see that it comes in a carrying case and it's quite a nice one. Got a little handle here on top. And also got a zipper with a pocket in here. And it looks like some of the parts that it comes with and an instruction manual. So pretty nice attention to quality here. And the zippers feel really good. Velcro on the handle. So the first thing we got here is the handle. It is a rubber material at the end. It doesn't appear to be adjustable. So this piece here, the aluminum and metal hardware for the bolts and stuff, brackets themselves are plastic. So here it looks like we have some kind of adapter to something. And we got the tripod itself. Now there's one more thing in here. Shoulder strap to the bag if you wanted to use it. And the bag definitely feels durable. So it should last quite a bit, I would think. Now let's see what this thing looks like. So it is in a bag. And so first impression, it does feel pretty nice and sturdy. And the fluid head that comes on this tripod is their H4 version. So initially here, it feels pretty good. Now, I don't think this is going to be anything like a high-end tripod, but hopefully we're getting our value for what we pay for here. So right now, the legs are actually folded in. And on the bottom here, we can see the mechanism where it has locking points. So I'm going to go ahead and pull one leg out. And so it looks like we have three lock positions. So this is our first angle here, and then it gets wider from there. So you can go even wider, and then even more wider, I guess flat out. So if you needed a lot of stability, I guess you could go really wide. So I'm gonna bring all the legs out. And so what I'm noticing here is one of the legs is actually different. It has this rubber grip. And the reason it's different is because we can detach one of these legs to use as a monopod. And we're gonna check that out a little later in the video. So here we have the little tightening nut. And if we unscrew that, we should be able, okay, there it goes, bring down the center part down to the middle. And so this is what it looks like when it's in this position. Now to have it in travel position, you would have to flip the legs over and bring this thing up. That'll make it even smaller to fit in the back. But this is actually pretty a good size already. So every leg has three sections. And this feels really light. And I definitely like these locking mechanism better than the twisty ones that some of them have. And also the legs don't spin in circles. They're stationary. So these locks will always align together so that's a nice touch and if i extend them all i don't even know if i can show you but from the wall here i'm actually touching the wall camera so yeah it's very long so these latches are a little hard to release but they have a confidence to them for sure once it's locked it's locked and i think they'll wear in a bit after a little bit of use but yeah overall feels really nice well, let's go ahead and set this thing down so we do get a warranty card and our little instruction manual. So here it shows us what everything is and what it does and how to use and adjust all the features. Okay, and so that adapter is actually to extend the monopod. And this is what I'm talking about here. So it looks like you can use adjust the leg or you could use the mid pole with the leg. Also, if you wanted a really low profile, you could use that same adapter to go straight down to the legs and spread them like we saw earlier and make it really low if you needed that. And also we can completely reverse it and put the camera down under the tripod. And also this tripod has a more finer leveling ball that pivots below the whole head to fine tune it. And we'll check that out. So in this bag, you get some tools three Allen wrenches. And the reason you would need these is to adjust the tensions on the tripod. So after a while, if the legs get weak, you can 
tighten them up and that's what these are for and also we get this little tool which is like a wing nut holder and that's just going to hold the nut while you twist the other side with the allen wrench and it's nice that this is a piece of metal and not just some cheap little plastic piece and also we get three foot spikes so if you didn't want to use the rubber feet underneath you could use these and these are great for carpets where it will kind of bite into it and not you know move as much or also outdoors in the dirt these can really hold it well and ground so let's go ahead and install this pan and tilt a lever and it can go on either side so there's a thread for it here or here so depending on where you want it you know if you're a righty you probably put it on this side and if you're a lefty on the other so in the way it goes together it's quite simple there's just a bolt that's going to screw into the head that's how we're going to tighten it so depending on where you want it you can loosen it turn it and then lock it in so if you want it to be really low you can put it low but if you want it to be higher you can bring it up and lock it there and also when it's loose you can you know move it how you want it so i'm just gonna put mine like this and lock it in so on the top we have a detachable plate to loosen it there's a little lever here that we just unscrew and that will cut it loose and it does stay locked in there so it's not going to fly out to release the lock we're just going to push this button here it's going to come out the back so not the front but the back so and this is what the plate looks like so we have the regular quarter inch thread and looks like a 3 8 the large one now if you didn't want one of these in there you could pop out this little rubber piece here and then take out what you don't need and pop it back in so i'm going to use the quarter because most of my stuff is that and just put this away in the bag for now so we do have nice rubber grip here for the camera to sit on and on the front of it there we can see an arrow pointing up and that's how we're going to slide it from the back into the head and there's also an arrow on the bottom and so when we do put it back it just slides right in no need to be pushing anything and then we can tighten it in from the other side and that locks it in so for adjusting the tilt we have this knob here and so if we turn it all the way it locks it like right now it's locked if we unscrew it it's going to unlock it and this is where our tilt will start working and i'm noticing if i go all the way down and by the way this is as far as it goes and i let it go it actually fires back up so it looks like maybe some kind of spring assist there and if i go the other way same thing there's the more i go the more resistance there seems to be it's pretty linear but definitely resistance now since i don't have a camera on there definitely feels like a little more than it needs to be but i'm sure with the camera it's going to feel really good so it kind of gives you a little bit more confidence there especially if you got to tilt really low it's kind of progressive somewhat as you keep going it gets harder and harder which is great because when you have the camera on here and all that weight as you start going down it wants to fall even faster so this kind of helps it with that so that's pretty neat so yeah our knob here does both things it controls the drag if i unscrew it all the way it's quite loose but still pretty smooth actually so and then as we tighten we increase the drag you know and then if we go even more it just locks it in so now for the panning we have this knob here so right now it's unscrewed completely and as we screw it it locks it in now there's not too much control on the pan or as far as i can tell yeah for sure you definitely don't want to control that so you just loosen it all the way and you just have this pretty good steady motion and it appears to be that that part is not adjustable at all so you just get this one kind of resistance i don't think i'm going to have any issues with this it feels about what i would like now if you do try to tighten it make a little resistance here it does seem to do it but it starts to kind of grab in funny ways so i don't think it's meant to do anything so if i lock this in really good and put some pressure on it it still feels very smooth so it seems to be built pretty well all right and so if we go to the bottom we can see we have the half ball here or not sure exactly what that's called but that's controlled by this lever here and it's quite a large one and once you loosen that we have like a ball here that we can move the whole head on and this is good for fine tuning because we do have a little leveling sight right here and looking at that we can really fine tune it to be perfect and then lock it in so once that's locked in good it should not move anywhere and i'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it and it looks like it's pretty tight so very nice so yeah pretty basic functions but seem to feel really nice and high quality and as we go down lower we have this twisty knob here that will loosen and then we'll be able to bring the whole thing up or down here so so once you get it to where you want it, you lock it in 
and it's good right there. So also guys, there's another leveling site right next to a leg on the tripod, one lower and then one higher. So you can get this one roughly close and then really fine tune it on top. All right, so I wanna check out how the monopod part of this works. So this leg here with the rubber grip, unscrew it, it just comes right out looks like. All right, so it does pop out. This is what the other end looks like. And it appears that to take off the head, okay, so it's not the brass looking copper ring, it's actually above that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lock it in on the panning and then use the lock to assist us into unscrewing it. So I got it locked now, so all we gotta do is just spin it counterclockwise and it starts coming off. And there it goes, so it just mounts on that large 3 8 bolt. And so now we're gonna need this adapter and we're gonna screw one end of it into the head like this and then the other end and there's threads inside and then there's threads on the outside of this leg and that'll simply screw together and just like that and now we have a monopod and obviously we can adjust it to be longer or shorter depending on what we need so and obviously you can use your head like you would normally and you do have this nice grip to hold it as you move it around so now I don't see myself using a monopod but you know there's some people out there that have a use for this also you know if you're on the go it's definitely you know much easier to bring a little monopod compared to a whole tripod and not only that go to the bottom here we can unscrew this rubber foot and also we have the same 3 8 threads here that you can pair it with some nice legs that will hold the pod down kind of like these right here so if I spread them you guys can see that I can use this as the stand for the monopod. So now we can just screw it to the bottom of it. And now we have a really nice monopod with some stability and you don't really need all your three legs to do some tripod work. Now, obviously it's not as stable like this and it's, you know, easily could wobble around unless you, you know, really hold it still. And not only that, you won't be able to adjust this very well on uneven ground. So, but it's just a few ideas of what you could do with this tripod and the monopod option. All right, so I'm back on the tripod as normal. And let's go ahead and mount a camera to it. So I have this A6500 with a 10 to 18 pretty wide angle lens. So we're going to untighten the plate. So we can move it and then push this button to release it. And this camera is a little bit weird because the lens is <laughs> a bit bigger than the body. So if I put this plate on there, it goes right on my zoom rings. It's not good. I'm going to have to try to slide it here all the way back. This is definitely not the best setup. And to tighten this bolt here, we have a few options. You can either, you know, hand tighten it, which probably is not going to be too tight. You can even use a coin or a flat screwdriver, or even an Allen wrench will fit in there. So if I move it all the way back, it looks like it will be fine. And I could still tilt my screen up if I need to. So yeah, now we're just gonna simply slide it in and the camera is on. Now again, the good part is, is that, you know, once it's in there, it's not gonna fall out. So if you forget to tighten it or whatever, you know, you're not gonna lose the camera and damage it. So now what you want to do, if you want to have the smoothest tilting, is you want to try to position the camera where it's leveled out in weight. So it looks like this one is going to have to go all the way back. And that'll be the best position for it. So I'm going to lock it right here. And that's it. And we are locked in. So that feels pretty good right there. And this is what it looks like. Very nice and smooth. All right, guys, I think we've talked enough, but I do want to mention a few more things that are quite important about the tripod, which the first one here is we do have a 3.8 thread here that we can mount something to. So if you want to mount some external device here, you can, and it is only on one side. So the tripod can handle up to 13 pounds that you can put on it, and it weighs a total of 5.2 pounds, and the carbon fiber helps it with the weight. So the total height is 67 inches that it can go up and when folded to its optimal position is only 25.6 inches. And also you can take this whole head and flip it over and go underneath the tripod. It is able to do that too. So before I cut to the B-roll of me filming on the tripod so you guys can see what that looks like and some more detailed close-up shots, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video and say thank you for watching. And if you're interested in this thing, I'm gonna have some links for it in the description. So check it out. And if you enjoy content like this, I do a lot of interesting things on this channel so stay tuned all right well enjoy the rest of this video